See, I'ma tell you one last time. I need my motherfucking money. Look, listen, I don't give a damn if you is my grandma. Give me my 50,000 by tomorrow. I'm gonna just throw your ass in the graveyard. You ain't getting no funeral. Hey man, oh y'all still Cuban link. <laughs> no. Check the gold out, check the gold out. You know what I'm saying? I went to um uh, Wafi, you know what I'm saying, get my uh, watch made. You know what I'm saying? We get some girls too. Look at this dude. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ever since we went to Burberry Ray, you know what I'm saying? It's been up for it, you know what I'm saying? Hey D Lo, tell them how much I spent at Burberry. Spent a K at Burberry. Burberry, man, you know what I'm saying? Get with it or get lost, you feel me? But all just aside, hey man, what's good, y'all? I'm coming to y'all with another freaking video today. And today I'm coming to y'all with one of them special motherfuckers, you feel me? And to be honest, this is one of those underrated motherfuckers, bro. Yes, sir. They got the name, but they just don't got the status, you feel me? But hey, we're gonna get into that. Stay tuned to watch the final thoughts. And yeah, let's get straight into it. Let's go. <laughs> man, I'm dead. Okay, there are some pros and cons with this fragrance. So which one y'all want first? Y'all want the bad news or the good news? I never really am a good news type of guy first. I don't give a fuck! But yeah, I'm gonna come at y'all with the pros first. First off, the smell. Oh my. Okay, right, let me give you guys a proper itemizer check. It's this woody masculine scent that is not too woody. Like how Tom Ford be too mature with their woody. This woody is... Perfect. It's woody, embery, and masculine. Those are the top three words I would use to describe this smell. It really just gives you that grown man vibe. Like, if I was to put like a brown shirt, like how this color is, some blue jeans, a white forces, and this chain, like, this is the fragrance I would wear. Like, it just gives that classic, casual, but still a masterpiece vibe to it. Like, if I was to smell it somebody, I would just think of just them being clean as almost. Like, this fragrance is weird because it makes me think of fresh notes but it's actually woody. And that's another pro of this thing, the versatility. No matter what day, what morning, what evening, it doesn't matter, you can wear this thing anytime. I'm gonna wear it to my grandma's funeral, she don't give me my motherfucking money. I bet you that. Like, just take a look at the bottle. Like, this bottle tells you everything you need to know. Not too much, but there. That's how this fragrance is. It's not too much in your face, but it's there. And when you really come up on somebody, oh, hell. Like even when I got a hug today and I wore this and I got a compliment because it's really a skin scent. When you come up on somebody, that's when it smells like it. It hides itself, but it doesn't hide itself. But it reveals as you get closer. Like as of right now, I can't smell anything. But as I'm getting closer, I want to get even more closer. It makes you want to come in more. Which I feel like if you do have a girlfriend, this is a great scent to wear. I'm a thousand percent sure females want to be cut out of business. Even though I don't have no experience. But I do got my female friends to test, so. <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. Man. Yeah, it's, it's, it's that one, bro. And there's no cons I really would have to say about this fragrance other than the fact that it's a skin scent. Which is not bad at all, you know what I'm saying? Every fragrance doesn't have to be a beast performer. I know that. But all I'm saying is if you want it to be a beast performer, you have to spray 20 to 30. Holy Jesus. 20 to 30, that that should be enough to get you through the day. But if I was to wear something like this, I'd probably only go like seven. Cause if I was to wear this, I wouldn't want it to be overpowering. I would want it to do its job, reveal itself as it get closer. I just, my nose just keep making me want to gravitate towards it because like, it just gives you that grown man vibe. Like I love it how it can be masculine without being dark. That's why I love this fragrance right here. Cause we all know about Dior Fahrenheit. Fuck you, fuck, fuck That's my shit. Bitch That's mad shit. shit. Do something yeah, else, man. Don't. And y'all know how I feel about Tom Ford Noir de Noir. The fuck? This shit trash. Never again. But this completes the masculinity job and it checks every box except that dark. And that's the best thing about it. But on to my final thoughts. I feel like 25 and under, this will be best for you. Like I said, versatile can be weird any day, any night, any evening, anything, dinner, lunch, date, anything. You don't have to overspray with this one because I feel like it's not meant to. If you're going to get this, I say go seven sprays, bro. This shit smell good as fuck. <laughs> Would y'all want to see a comparison? Burberry Hero, Givenchy Gentleman Intense EDT. Let me know. But in my opinion, this is one of those underrated gems for real. Out of 10, y'all might be shocked, but it's about an 8.5. 
almost pushing nine to me. I, I, I'll fuck with it heavy. But hey, those are my final thoughts. If y'all have some of this, let me know how y'all feel about it down below. Let me know the performance. Let me know everything. Let me know how it rocks out with y'all. But hey, that was it for today's video. Like I said, let me know if y'all want a comparison with this. And I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Hello? Oh yeah, I'm going to kill you right now.